Paula Ward and this is Easy Knitting Design. This video is part one of shaping armholes. We've knit the body of our sweater. Now it's time to move on to the front and back yokes. We'll begin by dividing our circular body that we knit into two equal halves, front and back. Then we'll switch to flat knitting or knitting back and forth, knitting the right side row and purling the wrong side row or inside row. First, stitches are bound off at the beginning of the first two rows. We'll start on a knit row, bind off some stitches, knit across, turn our work, and on the purl row, bind off the same number of stitches, purl back, turn our work again, and then starting on the knit side and on knit rows only, we will decrease stitches at the beginning of the row and the end of the row. In other words, at each edge several times. Now this creates a nice smooth curve to your armhole. After you have completed your last decrease row, you'll knit straight up to the top of your armhole. So what we need to figure out is how many stitches to bind off at the beginning of those first two rows and how many decrease rows to work. So if we were to write this out, first we'd say bind off a certain number of stitches at the beginning of the next two rows, these two bind off rows. Next, we would decrease one stitch each edge, every right side row a certain number of times. In other words, these, what we're calling these edge stitches at the beginning and the end of our knit side rows. So now let's fill in our blanks. Our whole shaping consists of, as we said, the bind offs and the decrease rows up to this point, which is our shoulder width. So we need to know how to get from our back width to our shoulder width using our bind offs and decreases. Now we need to convert these measurements to stitches to do our calculations. Remember I said that our back was simply half of our circular body. So the back is going to equal our original number of cast on stitches divided by two. Our shoulder width is the shoulder width measurement right off our measurements chart. And we'll take that number of inches and multiply it by our stitch gauge to get the number of stitches in our shoulder width. If we take the number of stitches in our back and subtract the number of stitches in our shoulder width, we are going to get what I'm going to call the number of shaping stitches. And by shaping stitches, I'm referring to the combination of bind off stitches and decrease stitches in our armhole. In other words, from this distance to this distance is our number of shaping stitches. Our shaping stitches are represented by this red mark. Now, since we want to distribute our shaping stitches equally between the left and right sides, this number of shaping stitches must be an even number. Once we've determined this even number of shaping stitches, we will divide it by two. So our number of shaping stitches divided by two will give us the number of shaping stitches per armhole. Now there's one more wrinkle. Once we've determined this number of stitches per armhole, we are going to subtract one from that number and the reason is there is something called a selvage stitch. We will be giving back a stitch essentially to our shoulder width here and that is because when we go to knit the sleeve we will be picking up stitches around the armhole and using up a stitch. So in order to keep our shoulder width accurate we need to allow an extra stitch there. So that means one less stitch on our armhole shaping. Once we've determined the number of stitches, the final number of stitches on our armhole shaping, we have to decide how to divide it up between our bind off and our decrease rows. I have a simple formula for this. I simply divide the number in half. Now if your final number of stitches on the armhole 
is an odd number, it doesn't really matter which side of this gets the extra stitch. For example, if I had nine stitches here to sh on my armhole shaping, I could bind off five and decrease four, or bind off four and decrease five. Not too important. In part two, I'll do the math on Nikki's sweater and knit the armholes.